G'day, welcome back to Richard's Auto. Today we've got a GXL 300 series Land Cruiser in and we're going to be installing our GXL rear fuse box accessory kit. So this kit consists of a couple of different parts. Um, firstly, we're fitting the fuse box to the rear of the car. This provides 10 additional circuits that are all going to be permanently battery fed through a low voltage smart battery protect. All this installs into the vehicle. It is all plug and play, so no cutting, no soldering required. It is a genuine Toyota fuse box and high quality Victron components and in-house made wiring from Richard's Auto Electrical. To complement the rear fuse box of this vehicle, today we're also going to be fitting the GX or GXL rear accessory socket and Anderson combo. Once again, this is a plug and play kit designed to go with this fuse box setup and designed specifically for the GXL model vehicles. You might have another vehicle, a Sahara or a VX. In that case, we do a similar kit. You do not require the fuse box because it's already fitted in your vehicle. Please call us and we can discuss the options for your particular car. I've got my instructions handy here. I've chosen to print them out. When you receive our product, you can scan the QR code to see the instructions on the internet. Without further ado, let's get started. We we'll open the boot of the car because of the electronic release and then we'll go around and we'll disconnect the battery.
side of this connector here. Press that tab. Like so. Lift that little tab. Pull it out the back. We're going to plug this one here back in at the top. Okay. So now that we've plugged in our connector at the top, what we're going to do is just lift up the carpet. Place this cord underneath. That's it. Run that cord up the side there like that. Now we can put all our panels back together. Same with this one here. green.
removed from that step there. And put it through the earth and through the bottom hole of here. I'm going to secure that to the bottom hole inside of here. Make sure this is straight up and down. And that is on there. This fuse box these clips on the two pegs. Like so. is to program up the Victron Smart Battery Protect. So to do that, we're going to go to the App Store. We're going to download a program called Victron Connect. I already have it downloaded. It's going to scan our devices. This battery protect is the device we've just fitted to this vehicle. We're going to use the default password six zeros. This is going to tell us our battery voltage and our load output, whether it's active or inactive. If prompted to change the password, I always say no, because six zeros is the default. It's an easy one to remember. Today is a lead acid type battery. It's a factory Toyota 300 series battery. So the shutdown voltage is 12 volts and the restart voltage is 12.4. So into settings, preset, user defined, Let's configure our restart voltage first, 12.4, and our shutdown voltage is 12. Once you've configured those two, and they are both correct, cross-check them with your manual, 12 and 12.4. I'm happy with those, I press the X, and we're now configured. At any point in time, we can re-enable the load output if the low voltage disconnect were to engage. And this could engage our fridge or continue our accessories from running, but it will affect the startability of your car. When you let this system manage itself, you'll always be able to start the motor vehicle. Now that we've got our rear fuse box fitted in the vehicle, we're going to install a dual accessory outlet with an Anderson and an accessory socket on the left-hand side of the vehicle. And this is going to be to run our fridge. The wiring loom supplied by Richards Auto so includes the connectors to be able to run across the vehicle and the loom and plug directly into the factory fuse box. Let's proceed. I need to remove this panel here, which includes the left outlet, the left cheek, and the right cheek, which we've already removed from the installation of the fuse box kit. Can do that quickly. It's going to sit in this vicinity here. Let's go cut out our template. You want this one here to line up with the rubber edge and you want this one here to line up with this profile line across here. 
that should bring the window for the light in the vision. We can now draw around our cutting area. Like so. We'll remove the template and cut out the hole. Then with the Anderson pins, Anderson, come up behind here. So we're going through this hole here. So the pink one is our positive. The black one is our negative. Poke these up through this hole here to access them out through there. The earth is going to go under this bolt here. This is an existing seat bolt. accessory fuse box with the two tabs release that take the lid off of it remove the rail pass these here through the fuse box so they're out here and according to the fuse box lid the Anderson is the 30 and the accessory is the 20. So we want to put our red wire at the top. Push them in like so until you hear click. And our pink wire is for our accessory socket. Push them in until it goes click. And now reinstall our fuse box. We clip it back into the bracket. We can place our fuses, starting with the 30 amp fuse in the top one, 
and that's the one marked Anderson plug. And the next one is our accessory, 20 amp marked accessory. Like so. We're going to place the lid on the top, then check our outlets for it. It's worth noting as well that we do supply auxiliary pins with the fuse box kit. These pins just need to be crimped onto your wire, your positive wire. And these here can run all sorts of other accessories. Maybe a cell phone go, maybe another outlet. Maybe a UHF radio, anything you wish. Up to 20 amps. We just test the two outlets. So let's start by testing the Anderson plug. Positive on the left, negative on the right. 12.57 volts. volts. So that's it, all fitted and tested, operating. We're now going to put the vehicle back together.